everybody, this is Rob Swatsky and this is our Histology Lab Review screencast on connective tissue, primarily the loose connective tissues. And our first one that you're looking at here is areolar connective tissue. And the search image is fabric. It's almost like we're looking at a small piece of clothing underneath the microscope. We have these thick pink stain, collagen proteins, crisscrossing, interwoven together to provide tremendous strength and support that the areolar connective tissue is known for. There's also some reticular fibers. These branch, that's what re reticular refers to, a branching spider web like appearance where this network of proteins helps hold these diverse protein fibers and the fibroblast cells and macrophages and other cells together within this whole environment. The white area is a semi-solid matrix which is a uh, ground substance that kind of binds all this material together. Also occasionally you have some elastic fibers and we see here some of these proteins. Sometimes they're like coils and the elastic fibers provide the ability to distend, to stretch, as well as to retract and return back to the tissue's original shape. So it provides a lot of strong durability to this tissue. And we find it abundantly through the body. It's found uh, surrounding vessels, surrounding organs, uh, found within the body wall of organs in various layers. It's found within the skin between the epidermis and the uh, dermis, as well as from the dermis to the subcutaneous layer, helping to bind the adipose fat and the nerves and the sensory receptors of the skin and blood vessels together, acting as a passageway as well uh, from the skin uh, to the rest of the body. Our next loose connective tissue is adipose tissue, and it's made up of these bubble-like adipocytes. These are the fat cells and they're storing triglyceride fat within their interior and they can swell and swell to large sizes to accommodate increasing amounts of lipid and they, they act as in a major energy storage depot that uh, can build up fat supplies but also release them to the body as needed. And adipose is an insulator. It, it surrounds many organs such as uh, the heart and it's found in the sub Q layer underneath the skin helping to maintain body temperature. Tremendous cushion and support as well because it's a prominent tissue in many of the joints helping to cushion from the hard impact of, of movement. The general appearance of the tissue is very open and porous, almost spongy these very thin membranes of the adipose tissue uh, don't give a whole lot of strength but the main thing here is room surface area to hold a lot of triglyceride fats. We can find it as well within bone. There's a region of the bone called the yellow bone marrow that provides an energy supply. Our final loose connective tissue is reticular connective tissue. And the search image here is roots, almost as if you're looking at soil and plant roots under the microscope where, remember, reticular means branching. And these dark black or brown fibers are the tissue uh, that provides tremendous support and structure to organs like the lymph nodes. It's also found in the liver, the red bone marrow, and the spleen. It provides a lot of room, a lot of surface area to hold the blood cells uh, in, those, in those organs, to hold the white blood cells in the lymph nodes to help purify and filter the tissue fluid as it passes through. 